Hello everyone, Tim here with a different room tour. I know I just had a room tour up, but that was in a room, actually, there we go. Out there, down the hall, is the movie room that I've shown in the past, the one you see on Instagram if you follow me there. But this one I show less often, and this actually used to be my movie room, like, I don't know how long ago, but yeah, this room used to have all the movies. Now it doesn't, now it's just for watching. And stick with me, and I'm going to walk you around the room. All right, so we start at the door, and we start with this beautiful Mandalorian screen print. I switch out occasionally on here, but this has been up for a little while. As I post, as I mentioned in my other video, I have so many screen prints that I could, I could literally swap these things out constantly and have new stuff. But I do love this print. It is uh, holographic. Kind of tough to see. You can kind of see it, but... Yeah, love that one. Artist is Tom Walker, I believe. And how about we go this way around the room? So, Charmed post poster signed by Rose McGowan and Holly Marie Combs. Some little, this is, I don't remember what box this thing was from. It's some video game box, but it's cool artwork. A uh, statue from the, which Gears of War? I don't even remember which Gears of War, to be honest. But yeah, Gears of War statue. And we got some Resident Evil statues. These are really cool. I'll open this up so you get a little bit better view. These are Bloodborne. These are, I think the company is called like Gecko or something like that. Very, very cool statues. Then we go down another one and we get Star Fox. This is quite big it just barely fits in there that's uh first four figures makes that one close this up i'll pull back so you can get a view there uh matt ferguson is the artist for that do not remember the artist on that unfortunately i, I can look it up but uh both awesome this came from bottleneck gallery got some Odds and ends statues here. A big Funko. We do not have too much Funko in the house. And that is a sideshow one-sixth figure. And we got some clapboards in the back. Universal Studios. Hollywood Studios. Again, I wish I remembered the artist. And I can't remember. This came in a mystery tube, I believe. So that's why... It's not one I actively sought out to buy, but I like it a lot, so that's why it's hung. This statue is amazing. <laughs> this thing is so freaking cool. It's heavy, too. It's really heavy, but it was like 280 or something, which is not a bad price at all for this size and for this much detail. Love that thing. And Ash, Toonie Terrors, that's, I think, literally the only Toonie Terrors in the house. This is a cheaper Fallout statue. It's all plastic. From my wife and I meeting Bruce Campbell. Uh, artist Dave Perillo, that's a private commission. Love that. And as I pull out, then we go down. This is all music movies and blu-ray dvd uh some with cds and dvds go across there and then right now kind of just junk in there spare boxes of collectibles some odds and ends vhs and then starting here and all that is all our uh vinyl collection that is not soundtracks for movies. We do have soundtracks for games, which goes pretty much across there, but then it switches and it's basically all rock and metal and things like that. So like you get an idea, got Incubus there. We've got Gojira, Five Finger Death Punch, Foo Fighters, uh, Devil Driver, Audio Slave, 
Bad Wolves, Avenged Sevenfold. So get the idea of roughly the type of music that pretty much encompasses most of that. That's generally what we listen to, what we collect. Go over here. There is an awesome Clone Wars uh, print. This was also from a bottleneck mystery tube. Also from Bottleneck, it feels like a lot of uh, Bottleneck advertising, but this is a 27 by 40 uh, light box poster frame, and it's awesome. So it's lit right now. Shut it off. Not lit. Actually, let's shut the light off. So, not lit. And lit. Love this thing. It is so awesome. The only thing that sucks is you got to be careful when you're changing it. You get like fingerprints on it. You pretty much got to put on gloves or something. But it looks awesome. Love that thing. Turn the light back on. Let's see. All right. So a little dirty on top. In here is more of our collectible like super collectible records stuff that is oh geez come on <laughs> shift this oh geez sorry about all that but yeah we've got older stuff that is so long out of print it's crazy expensive like old kill switch uh an old betray you angels and airwaves uh this mud vein which took forever to get so yeah stuff like that this is a lot more of our like stuff that's really tough to replace basically all right what do we got next next up lots of remote controls and movie books so in the other room you saw I posted a fair amount of movie books. Well, it was a handful of movie books, I should say. This is where most of the rest of the collection is, here and on the other side of the room, right behind this camera. So, yeah, I love collecting art books, uh, yeah, art of, like, making of, stuff like that is the stuff I love to collect and read. Shifting over here got a few more records here this one's got to make its way into the box also very collectible hard to find uh this is sam and dean's car from supernatural 118 scale uh odds and ends junk a very dusty panasonic 4k player and an apple tv which model is this it's uh the la not the current model, the last one before that is what this one is. And then our Epson projector, which I love. This thing is not, it's not 4K. It's not like super top of the line. I think we spent 600 on it, something like that. But personally, I love it. It's, it's good enough for what we use it for, to be honest. And it projects across to that so it's just a sheet but it's actually stretched out and pretty much stapled to the wall and it fits just within it looks damn good it looks really good on there i don't personally feel i need a an actual screen yet that's working for now but back over here we've got a light turn it on so oh you can see what a light looks like Odds and ends, just stuff. Let's see, pick these up, put them on the top. Uh, <laughs> let's see, yeah, cords and just stuff. An SNES, well, like a, uh, what is it, a retro, like, remake one. Uh, South Park, it's just... It's random stuff, to be honest. And that's pretty much what that is, too. Now, this is a 27 by 41 frame 
and it is signed by Stacy Nelkin and Tom Atkins. And I love it. That is actually an original. I believe... So when Halloween came out, there were still some were coming in folded, some were coming in rolled. This is an original rolled one, but you'd see other originals that are folded. Both exist for this one. Let's see, go up here. We have a mix of steel books. Just put that one up there. And look at the crack in the wall. The fun of having an over 100 year old house. <laughs> All these walls are plaster and they suck. But yeah, come down. Love that. First four figures. Funko, Funko. Uh, hmm. I cannot remember who, who makes these. But we found these at GameStop. They're pretty cool. They're only like 60 bucks each. Go down. That Hitman was from the Collector's Edition for not the last game, but the one before that. Last of Us Part 2 statue came with the Collector's Edition. Resident Evil 4, or not 4, uh, Jesus, 7 Collector's Edition. A lot of these are all Collector's Edition statues from games. Bioshock. God of War. First four figures, Okami. First four figures, Zelda. So yeah, that's all movie or video game stuff there. Then we back up to OLED TV. This is oh why did I forget the model right now? It's a it's a B7, I think it is. LG B B7, I want to say it is. It's a 65 inch, but oh god, I think it's a B7. <laughs> I believe so. Anyways, move on. It's it's an LG OLED, I think B7. Move down, got Polk speakers, both sides, Xbox Series X, U-turn turntable, was most recently listening to Architects, a cool little like witch statue that is to clean the needle on the record player. Go down, we have a 50 disc changer for CDs. Uh, this is the Blu-ray player that we just actually, or I just did a video on recently. That's the very first Blu-ray on the US market. That's super cool to have. Blues Brothers. HD DVD player. That's from my very, that's the one I owned when it first started. I was an HD DVD guy. So, yeah, both of those are from the very beginning of each format. The Architects Record. Yamaha Receiver. A PS5 controller for the PS5 that's not in this room right now. But, yeah, most of the stuff here down there isn't getting a ton of use, generally. Uh, good with watching Blu-rays through there, generally. Because that thing is super quick compared to using that. And otherwise, I love this TV. Absolutely love it. Then we'll go over. That is the Lego NES. Very, very cool. I love that. That Super cool. You turn the dial and Mario will actually move. Love it. Then there is a Doom Shelf. A Wes Craven shelf. It's just screaming nightmare because those are, in my opinion, the best two things he did. But I love all his stuff. But those are the two pinnacles of his career, in my opinion. Spyro. Okay, now quickly with the lights off, just so you get a quick look what they look like. All lit up with lights off. They look pretty damn cool. <laughs> so happy with those. And this thing is really cool. It's a super old statue. It's from X-Files. Can't remember exactly what year, but that was purchased super cheap on like clearance. I love it though. It's so cool. <laughs> Over here, this is signed by Joe Bob Briggs. And this is just noir films that he loves, essentially. Very cool. 
that is this is actually on wood it's a print by tula latte but actually on wood love that tripod then we head over here soundbar base and then more movie books so you get an idea again the type of books i enjoy cannot recommend well, either one of these but i just did a video on that but this so so funny but yeah that's the basic gist of watching movies on here and that's actually the base of basic gist of the whole room this this doesn't have as much to it oh and chairs duh i mean not really much to say there two polang chairs i don't think i pointed out this though that's actually signed by jim davis another statue this was like on um, clearance blowout but it's super cool i love it garfield's great but yeah that is the room got a pretty basic gist love this room so yeah like comment subscribe and i will talk to you in the next one